Today we're going to multiply radicals and before we get started let's just uh, talk about um, what is a radical and what it consists of. Okay. This is a radical sign and the the numbers or the variables that are inside are called the radicands. Okay? We said that whenever you add and subtract radicals the radicands have to be the same. You can only add or subtract radicals with the same radicands, okay? But multiplying and dividing radicals is different, okay? So let's get started. So you had radical 3 times radical 6. Well, what do you want what you want to do? You just want to multiply your radicands. 3 times 6 is 18. So, radical 3 times radical 6 is radical 18. Now, what we can do, we need to make sure this is in simplest form, and we're going to simplify that radical 18 by making a factor tree and finding the prime factorization. Now, if you do not understand this method that this this method that I'm that I just did if you don't know how to find the prime factorization of a number please watch my uh, video on prime factorization and so I made a factor tree and I came up with the prime factorization of 2 3 and 3 now the 3's 3 times 3 is 9 9 is a perfect square radical 9 is 3 so that's going to go on the outside of the radical and the 2 stays inside so we now know that radical 18 is really simplified down to 3 radical 2 okay Uh, next we have radical 5 times radical 4. If you would like to um, multiply these two radicals uh, before I solve them, you can do that. Please pause your the video. Alright. We have radical 5 times radical 4. So 5 times 4 will give me radical 20. I need to simplify this, so I'm going to find the prime factorization of 20. The prime factorization of 20 is 2 times 2 times 5. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 is a perfect square. Square root of 4 is 2. That's going to go on the outside and the 5 is going to stay on the inside. And so therefore, our final answer is going to be 2 radical 5. All right. Let's make it a little bit harder now. A little bit, let's just make it a little bit harder, okay? So we have 2 radical 6 times 7 radical 4. Well, if you notice, we have some outside numbers. We have an outside number of 2 and 7. And then our radicands are 6 and 4. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply my outside numbers. 2 times 7 is 14. 
and my inside numbers will multiply my inside numbers, which is my radicands, 6 times 4, which is 24. And I'm going to keep my radical symbol. So right now I have 4 radical 24. I can simplify this. So I'm going to say 14 radical 24. I'm going to make a I'm going to make a factor tree for 24. I'm going to find the prime factorization of 24. 6 times 4. That's 2 times 2. That's 2 times 3. So I have 14 on my outside, and I have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Okay? Now, um, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 is a perfect square. So, I, right, I'm going to bring my 14 down. And I'm also going to take out my, two radi my radical 4, which is 2. And place those on the outside and multiply 2 times 3, which is 6. Okay? Again, I brought my 14 down. It was already on the outside of the radical symbol. I multiply, I know that 2 times 2 is 4. And radical 4 is a perfect square. Square root of 4 is 2, so I'm going to bring this down. 14 times 2 is 28 radical 6. So I can simplify this down to 24 radical 6. Alright. Let's look at another one. I have 2 radical 6 times 7 radical 5. And let's change that to a, let's see, a 12. 12 radical, set, 12 radical 6 times 7 radical 5. Okay. So, I'm going to multiply 4 times 7. I'm sorry, 12 times 7. Well, 12 times 7 is... 84 and 6 times 5 is 30. I need to simplify this so I'm going to bring right my 84 radical 30 down. I'm going to make a factor tree for my 30 which is 6 and 5, 2 and 3. Well, I'm going to bring down my 84. My 30, the prime factorization of 30, is going to be 2 times 3 times 5. Since I can't form any perfect squares, that means that it's already simplified. So this is my final answer. Sometimes the answer will already be in um, simplified form. Okay. I want you to try this one. So if you please pause the video after I write this and simplify and multiply these radicals, please. Okay. So we have our outside numbers 5 and 6. 5 times 6 is 30. Radical. 2 times 10 is 20. We need to see if we can simplify this even more. So I'm going to take, I'm going to write 30, radical 20. So 20 might find the prime factorization of 20. So I have 30 radical 2 times 2 times 5. 2 times 2 is 4, which is a perfect square. So I'm going to bring down my 30 times. I'm going to bring down my 2 because 
um, square root of 4 is 2 and the 5 stays inside 3 times 2 is 60 radical 5 so 30 radical 20 simplifies to 60 radical 5 Okay, I hope this video helped you. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, please email me at um, info at mathwithmoon.org or you can watch my videos at mathwithmoon.org where, where I have um, a number of videos that you can watch. And you can also leave your comments. Alright, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.